just racists. I think they have a different definition of racist uh, in mind because, yeah, their whole uh, theology is ethnic based, right? Um, and they would, yeah, discount, you know, treat somebody different based upon their ethnicity, right? So, so yeah, it's uh, it's funny. It's funny. I think I think there's a um, you know harder hardcore issues that we got to get to, more essential issues that we got to discuss with them. I'd rather talk to them about who is Jesus, right? Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Rather than what race, you know, what, what race is, is being saved, you know, so, but yeah, it's funny to me. Yeah. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Aruch HaKodash. Double honors to the elder apostles of the great millstone who were well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the tabernacle of David, the whole four elects scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Is our theology ethnic base? I would like to say our theology is biblical based. It's also faith based. Now, you will, of course, hinge on the fact that we teach that salvation is ethnic based and that's what you Christians can't accept because that in itself is biblical based from cover to cover from Genesis to Revelation this is a this is a word that was sent to a chosen ethnicity and I don't know how many times it's been proven for so many years from the Hebrew Israelites. And it's like you're still hard of hearing or you're just, you know, maybe you are you have selective uh, hearing. Um, maybe you're just uh, br- uh, breezing over scriptures that are right there in the Bible. That's in your Bible, my Bible, many different uh, editions and translations. It's all right there. The thing is, you just have a hard time accepting the full gospel, the, the, the whole word, the whole rule. That's you Christian's problem. So, is our theology based on ethnicity I like to say our theology is based on the Bible all right does say of the Lord let's real quick get a couple of precepts And this is uh, the book of Isaiah 59 and 21. And it says, as for me, this is my covenant with them, saith the Lord. My spirit that is upon me, it's like upon thee, and my words, which I have put in thy mouth, shall not depart out of thy mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, nor out of the mouth of thy seed seed saith the Lord from henceforth and forever. And that's what we speak. That's what we teach. The word. Okay. Our theology is biblical based. It's based on the word of the most high. Okay. Which is what? The the the, the law. The prophets. The, the, the gospels. The epistles, the the, and even um, you know the uh, the apocryphal books, which is also the um, prophecies. All right, <laughs> that's what we speak, and that's what our theology is based on. Okay, let's get a. Uh, Go to the book of uh, 
Sirach Ecclesiasticus, chapter 9, verse 15, it says, Let thy talk be with the wise and all thy communication in the law of the Most High. And that's what we speak. All right? And also, Let's get a uh, Luke 24 and 44. And it says, uh, this is Yahweh Shai speaking to his uh, disciples. And he said unto them, these are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled which are written, or which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. Concerning our Lord Yahweh Shai, who comes in the value of the book. That's what we believe. That's what we speak. That's what we teach. That's what we based our theology on. All right? And you cannot know the Father except through, through his only begotten Son. So anyway, um, dealing, dealing with that topic of ethnicity you know we base our theology uh, off of uh ethnicity i say salvation and those who are given the word of salvation redemption those who need to be adopted from the first uh covenant you know back into good graces with the heavenly father that's based on a particular ethnic group or right, the people who were giving a promise all right the people who are going to inherit a a, a a a blessing that all pertains to one particular ethnic group of people and really there's multiple um ethnicities within that particular ethnicity i mean was not uh, uh did not jacob become uh, when he had his sons, did they, did they not become a multitude of nations or a company of nations? So, when you when when like Bocab, for example, he always liked to go into, you know, Revelation seven and nine, and go into the scriptures where it talks about every kindred, tongue, and nation. Well, the twelve, the uh, Kindreds or those 12 uh, nations all happen to come from one nation. Remember when Jacob and Esau were born, it said that two nations would be in uh, Rebekah's womb. Let's get that. Let's go to uh, Genesis 25. To show you that these men became a nation, and then when they had their sons, each of their sons became like a nation. All right, Genesis 25 and uh, 20. I'll start at 21. It says, And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because he was barren, and the Lord was entreated of him. And Rebekah, his wife, conceived, and the children struggled together within her. And she said, If it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord, and the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels, and the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. All right, so that's two nations right there, which Jacob became Israel, and when he had his children, they became known as the Israelites. Esau. He became a nation. He was when he was called Edom, and he had his sons. They became the Edomites. Dealing with uh, Jacob, Yaakov, who became Israel. This was what, what was said to him. Genesis thirty-five. <laughs> yeah, Genesis thirty-five and nine. It says, and Allah appeared unto Jacob again, and when he came out of Padanaram and blessed him, and the power said unto him, 
Thy name is Jacob. Thy name shall not be called any more Jacob, but Israel shall be thy name. And he called his name Israel. And the power said unto him, I am God Almighty. Be fruitful and multiply. A nation and a company of nations shall be of thee, and kings shall come out of thy loins. So he said, not only is a nation, but a company of nations will come out of them. A company of ethnicities, because each son became their own nation. Each tribe. Okay. Now, when you go to uh, in the New Testament, it talks about uh, kindreds. Yeah, this is uh, Revelation 5, verse 8. It says, And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of the saints. And who are the saints? The, 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 upon precept, pre precept upon precept, the Israelites are the saints. Vocab, he, and he knows exactly those precepts. All right, it says, and they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof. For thou wast slain and has redeemed us to the Most High by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. All right. Now let's look up real quick. Kindred. And the word is fule. And it says a tribe in the New Testament, all the persons descending from one of the 12 sons of the patriarch Jacob. All right. And it says down here, i.e. race or clan. So out of each tribe of Israel that happened to be scattered among all nations, among all the people. Because that was part of the curse that we'd be scattered among the, the actual heathen nations, the Gentile nations. All right. And guess what? This same uh, word is used when you read the, uh, the, the, um, the encounter that Peter had with Cornelius when he told him it is unlawful for me to come to that which is one of another nation. It uses this word here, fule. Which basically just means a tribe, another tribe. And those Jews in the land at the time, they 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 really believed that the Lord cast it out, the northern kingdom. Even though there was still remnants of them, you know, back in the land, but they really looked at those uh, other the other tribes as a non people to them to to the Lord. You know, they were just cast it out indefinitely. The Lord wasn't dealing with them anymore. So the Lord was just only dealing with that small uh, group of, of the circumcision. So the Lord had to um, set that straight when he gave Peter that vision. That those other Israelites were also to be uh, received and accepted. All right. So it's always been about the Lord's chosen people. Even when they fell away from their uh, identity, when they fell away as a, as a nation, the Lord was still going to eventually have mercy and reconcile with them and, and recover them. All right. That's why the Lord sent his only begotten son for that same sad people. Apostle Paul, he made it blatantly about uh, ethnicity and some of his epistles. This one is the, one of the most blatant uh, ones here. Romans 9 and 1, I say the truth in Hamashiach, I lie not, my conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost, that I have great heaviness, continual sorrow in my heart, for I wish that myself were accursed from Hamashiach for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, all right, according to, to the flesh, and we already dealt with that Ephesians, where it says that they were in time past Gentiles, uh, 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 according to the flesh, I already broke down what that meant. All right. They were being Gentiles, meaning they were uh, carrying out the acts of the Gentiles in the flesh. 
or with their idolatries and their their banquetings, all right, their abominable um uh, feast, their sacrifices, their adulteries. This is talking about race because you he said my according he said my kinsmen according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption, and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law, and the service of the Mosai and the promises. Whose are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh the anointed the Mashiach came who was over all the most High blessed forever Amen. and then he further elaborated on the chosen seed not as though the word of the most High have taken none effect for they are not all Israel which are of Israel and we acknowledge that fact because you have an elect amongst Israel neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children but in Isaac shall thy seed be called. All right. So this is actually narrowed down to a particular seed. The Lord bypassed all the rest of the, uh, the nations, even all the other sons of Abraham. So what are we talking about here? All right. Let's get a uh, real quick. Let's let's deal with Peter, for example. Go to First Peter two. And it says, uh, I'm gonna start at verse I'll start at verse four. It says, To whom coming as unto a living stone, disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of the most high precious, talking about our Lord Yahushai, yet also as lively stones are built up a spiritual house. All right. This doesn't mean that these are spiritual Israelites. No, this is physical Israel. But through the uh, the priesthood under the order of Melchizedek, we now are offering up spiritual sacrifices. We're, so this is a spiritual house. It's not a physical building anymore. An holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to the Most High by Yahushai Mashiach. Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture, Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. Unto you, therefore, which believe he is precious, but unto them which be disobedient, the stone which the builders disallowed, the same is made the head of the corner. And a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense, even to them which stumble at the word, being disobedient, whereunto also they were appointed. But ye, all right, uh, those who, which was, uh, you know, prophesied, it was, a, it, was, it was appointed that there was going to be another group of people who through grace were going to receive the the the, the gospel, the word, through and, and, and they're going to have faith. They're a part of that that chosen generation. It says, "But ye are the are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation." Here we go with with, with the ethnicity. I'm pretty sure that word there is a uh, ethnos. A peculiar people that ye should shew forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness to his marvelous light. All right. And when you look at the other translations, the word race is used. All right. You got uh, the ESV. It says, but you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession. That you may proclaim the excellencies of him who called you out of darkness to his marvelous light. All right, so the Lord, he's, he, he's definitely dealing with race. All right, as his people, okay, they were also going to be uh, representatives of his light. A CSB, but you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his possession. That you may proclaim the praises of the one who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. All right. So there it is. Let's go to Acts 13. So is the word of salvation based on ethnicity? That's what we're finding out right now. All right, Acts 13.
Yeah, I'm gonna start it up right here. This is uh, Acts 13 and uh, um, uh, verse 14. It says, "But when they departed from Perga, they came to Antioch and Pisidia, and went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and sat down. And after the reading of the law and of the prophets, and this is what we based our theology on, the law and the prophets." The rulers of the synagogue sent unto them, saying, Ye men and brethren, if you have any word of exhort exhortation for the people, say on. All right, speak your peace, right? Here come the Apostle Paul who wrote those epistles that you Christians love to go to, making it seem like Paul extended the gospel to all people, all nations, or Edomites, Moabites, listen up, right? This is a message to them, to the Ishmaelites and Hamites. But well, let's see what Paul decided to say. Then Paul stood up and beckoning with his hand and said, men of Israel. He addressed them as men of Israel, their nationality. That's the first thing he did when he stood up. And you that fear the most high give audience. The power of, it, of this people of Israel chose our fathers and exalted the people when they dwelt as strangers in the land of Egypt. And when the high arm brought them out of it, and about the time of 40 years suffered he their manners in the wilderness, and when he had destroyed seven nations in the land of Canaan, he delivered their land to them by lot. And after that, he gave unto them judges about the space of 450 years until Samuel the prophet. And that's when we start to get uh, kings, because Israel wanted to be like the heathen, so they wanted a king over them. And afterward, they desired a king, and the Most High Power gave unto them Saul, the son of Sis, a man of the tribe of Benjamin, by the space of 40 years. And when he had removed them, he raised up unto them David to be their king, to whom also he gave testimony. Okay, showing you that David was a prophet. All right. And said, I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man after mine own heart, which shall fulfill all my will. Of this man's seed have the Most High, according to his promise, raised unto Israel a Savior, Yahweh Shai. So far, it's still mentioning the, the descendants, all right, or the, the, the man who this nation descended from. They didn't say he, to his promise, raised unto Ishmael, raised unto Esau. Raised unto Japhet, a savior. No, Israel, a savior. The angel said, <laughs> that was that Matthew uh, 1 and, and, and 21? He shall save his people. Right? It says, when John had first preached before his coming, the, the baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. All right? And that's who John opened up his ministry with the, when he um, preached uh, the baptism to none other but Israelites. All right. And as John fulfilled his course, he said, Whom think ye that I am? I am not he. But behold, there cometh one after me whose shoes of his feet I am not worthy to loose. Men and brethren, children of the stock of Abraham, and whosoever among you feareth the most high to you is the word of this salvation sent. Okay. And that, hey, that, that same thing was said to Cornelius, because Cornelius was an Israelite too. Yeah, Acts uh, 10 and 34 says, Then Peter opened his mouth and said, Of a truth, I perceive that the Most High is no respecter of persons, but in every nation he that feareth him and work of righteousness is accepted with them. And it, because the Israelites were scattered amongst uh, all nations. So whoever among these nations fear him and work righteousness is accepted with the Lord, right? The word which the Mosai sent unto the children of Israel, preaching peace by Yahweh Shai Mashiach, he is Lord of all. So that's that's who the word of, of the salvation is sent to. All right. That word, I say, ye know, which was published throughout all Judea. And began from Galilee after the baptism which John preached. All right, and he was only preaching to Israelites. So throughout the both 
in the gospels, the epistles, and even going back from the law and the prophets, it was all concern, uh, concerning one ethnicity, one group of people. All right. So, I mean, and there's so many scriptures, man, like I'm sure a brother can even do a response and even add to this, man. So many scriptures. OK. That, yes, salvation is is uh, ethnic based because it's only pertaining to one particular nation of people. But as far as our theology and what we believe, it's, it's all based on the Bible. It's biblical based. All right. Unless we speak in our own words or, you know, we just coming off the top of the head and we're not and we're speaking just our own words, then you would have a point. But we're speaking straight out of the Bible. And this the word was given unto one people. Right, Psalms 147, uh, 19 through 20. He showed up his uh let, let me get that. And I guess, uh, you know, a lot, most Christians don't agree with this. Vocab don't agree with this. That it, that it's only pertaining to them. Psalms 147 and 19, it says, He showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation. And as far as his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye, Yahweh. And our own people buck up against this. They want, they want to extend this to the other nations. And they themselves... They were the ones who this pertained to, and they couldn't even get it right. But yet they want to share it with heathens. Only, only our people, man. You, you, here it is. The word was given to you. All right, you were given uh, the 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 contract, the agreement, the covenant, and you was bound to it, or or you would be up under a curse if you broke it. And you couldn't even hold your end of the bargain. Yet you want to add the other nations to it. Jake is sottish as hell, man. But I, I blame Christianity for that. That that, that Christianity put a, a heavy spell upon him. Like this guy right here, he he's more than likely an Israelite, but he's under that Christian spell. Following after the damn uh, serpent. But anyway, I want I just want to address what what, what he said. And you already know vocab got to throw his little, you know, trying to basically uh, use um, reverse psychology because, you know, yeah, we'll say that uh, their branch of theology is based on so-called white supremacy. They're racist because the Lord could just, even though the scriptures is plain about the appearance of the Lord, oh, he just can't be what we, what the Bible says it to be. You know, we're 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 making it up. Oh, we're taking it. Oh, it's 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 uh basically it's not literal. So he's not a, a person of color. But if it is describing a person of color, it, he would be white. And then when you question him about the small hats over there, he'll never come against them, but he'll always defend them. But when it when but when it comes to the idea of us being the, the the people that can never happen and he'll he'll, he'll de de devote his life to trying to debunk that notion all right but anyway you know i i, I think i you know said enough and i think enough precepts uh came out and if a brother want to do a response you know hey feel free and I'll definitely uh, share it. But uh, anyway, I'm going to end off with that. I'm going to give all praise, glory, and honor to you. I'll shine to the next lesson. Shalom.